then we found out through experience that that time limit was about six to eight hours. As long as they got in between three hours and eight hours after the injury, you could really accelerate the healing. In the US, I did this with a football player in 2004. He was injured. Um, he uh, fractured his fibula. He tore the membrane that holds the fibula and the tibia together. He avulsed the ligaments that hold the ankle onto your leg. It was ugly. It was 18 to 24 weeks before he would be able to walk, much less run. And they called me Monday, he was injured on Sunday. They called me Monday morning and said, he wants to play in the Super Bowl in six weeks. Can it be done? And it's like, gulp. Yes, we can do this. But I have to be there when he gets out of surgery because of the four hour window. So I flew that night to Philadelphia. He's on the other side of the country arrived he gets out of the operating room recovery room um, they wheel him out to the the limo and in the car i hooked the machine up and started treating him to stop the bleeding and turn off the inflammation treated him an hour drive to the house and i treated him for 24 hours straight with no interruption except when he went to the bathroom when we slept he slept laying down on the couch i slept sitting up and woke up, changed the frequencies, went back to sleep, changed the frequencies, went back to sleep. Did that for 24 hours. When the team trainer came in the morning, he said, well, all right, let's see it. So we undid the boot, we cut open the bandage, and nobody could believe what they saw. In a surgery like that, the f ankle should have been this big. It should have been the size of a football. Yeah? It should have been this big. It should have been black in the color of my shirt. There was zero swelling. No, zero swelling, zero bruising. In four weeks, the fracture had healed. This open spiral fracture was healed. In four weeks, the ligaments were stable on x-ray, on fluoroscopy. And in six weeks, he played, well, five and a half weeks, we took apart the scar tissue. So we healed him so fast, there was scar tissue, but the frequencies that dissolve scar tissue are the second precaution. You can't run those frequencies until the injury is five and a half weeks old. So we treated, when he got to Florida for the Super Bowl, he couldn't run because of the scar tissue. Wednesday, four hours we melted the scar tissue in his leg this between the nerve and the fascia and the bone there's a frequency for the periosteum when you have scar tissue between the nerve and the fascia and the periosteum the muscles won't work so we took that apart for four hours the next day we did two hours and on friday he ran like he'd never been hurt and on sunday he made touchdowns, they lost the game, but that was because their quarterback does not like getting knocked down. So, not his fault, but he played like he'd never been hurt. So that is the four hour window. Then, five years later, we found out what happened. In 2010 or 12, Diana Cross found this. There are early genes in injury that turn on immediately, and within the first four hours, and are off. They're off at six hours. That's why the window is four to six hours. Whatever we're doing to stop bleeding and reduce inflammation changes these genes. It keeps them from turning on. And because you increase energy production and because you reduce inflammation, you skip that whole first two or three week process because you change the genes and you accelerate healing beyond anything that is comprehensible.